you enter our community, you tell me about it. All right, call the meeting to order. And before we get into the agenda, there's a couple of things I'd like to do. First of all, I'd like to welcome Mr. Gerard Kiefer to his first meeting, first of many, as our new city foreman. So, Council, you all met Gerard and uh, welcome, Gerard. And Councilor Terry, just want to make sure that you can hear me. Can you hear me okay? Yes, Your Worship, I can hear you. Okay, good. So, Councilor Terry is not here tonight in person. He's uh, joining us by Zoom because he had a knee operation and he's um, not functioning 100% yet, but just for curiosity, coming. Oh, was that a question? Sorry. <laughs> it, it, it's coming along. I'm having a few issues. Well, we wish you all the best. Full recovery. Yep. Quick recovery. Yep, thank you. All right. Moving into the agenda now. First item on the agenda is the minutes from the regular council meeting on May 4th, 2020. So you have a copy of those minutes. And we have a resolution moved by Councillor Mitchell, seconded by Councillor Holman. That the minutes of the regular council meeting held on May 4th, 2020, be adopted as circulated. Are there any errors or omissions with respect to And in this case, Councillor Terry, if you ever have anything to jump in, just jump in. And we'll know that you have to, that you want to say something. All right, seeing now, I'll call for the vote. All in favor? Councillor Terry, are you in favor? In favor. Thank you. Terry? Next up on the agenda, I have a resolution moved by Councilor George, seconded by Councilor Phillips, that the minutes of the special council meeting held May 29th, 2020, be adopted as circulated. Any, any errors or omissions with respect to that set of minutes? I need a comment. A comment from Councillor George, yes. With regard to the water fill station rate, I figured it out. Cubic meter is 220 gallons. And that works out to 2.1 cents per gallon. So if anybody complains to you about the rate, tell them it's two cents a gallon. Can't right. be much cheaper than that. Oh, that's pretty cheap, thank you. Anything else? Call for the vote, all in favor? Councilor Terry? In favor. Thank you. We have no delegations tonight, no unfinished business tonight. So, under new business and communications, we have a resolution that reads, moved by Councillor Benson, seconded by Councillor George, that we approve the following proclamation and that we authorize the mayor to authenticate the same. Date, July 19th to 25th, 2020, Organization Life Saving Society, Proclamation 2020, National Drowning Prevention Week. Questions or comments, Council? All for the vote, all in favor? Councillor Terry? In favor. Thank you. Terry? Next up, we have the general 
summary communication items. In the first section, there are five items listed. Any questions or comments with respect to any of those five items? Okay, uh, Councillor George. Uh, Councillor Phillips, with regard to Wapen, is that, are you okay with that letter or? Yeah, that letter was actually just produced to clarify the act um, and just to kind of lay out how the grants from municipalities are paid to the library and the public. So it was basically yeah, it, it, it made sense to me, it didn't make sense to me. So I yeah. As long as you're okay with it. Yeah. Yeah. It was basically. Okay. Thank you. Moving into the second section. Uh, item number two uh, a letter that we received from. Um, I can't see the last name. Yeah, let's just say Dr. Yemi. I mean, we received a letter from Dr. Yemi, and uh, we are having a meeting with him and some of council on Wednesday afternoon to get his perspective on what he mentioned in the letter. So then we'll know more and, and how we can proceed. And with respect to the first item, um, Director Gilmore, what information can you supply us with that? Since this letter has come in, uh, you know, we don't have particular plans to pay Stephanie at the street, but we have a five just for this Okay, thank you. Any questions about those items? Uh, Council Holmes? Yes, are there any novel products out there that maybe like our control provider? I mean, you just need to come over a little bit. Is there any other products maybe that we can test in there that would seem cost efficient or competitive with Canola? Canola well, maybe do a better job. Um, personally, myself, I, I haven't seen anything that even comes close to Canola oil. It, it, it does want to have one drawback. It reaches, and what we need to do is to stop. Uh, we were directed, they were directed to put about three times a month to have minimize that. Um, the problem comes in exactly funding our planning streets, the payment. That's where the problem comes. Uh, you know, that street's about six blocks long. Start a little bit more on this and this way. So uh, we certainly need long term plan uh, for uh, payment. And I'm sorry, I have not seen anything better than our high cost uh, sort of. Continue the search on the ballot. Okay, any other questions? Okay, we'll move on to committee minutes and reports. Move into committee of the whole. I have a resolution moved by Councillor Holman, seconded by Councillor Mitchell. That the minutes of the committee of the whole meeting held on May 4th, 2020, be adopted and circulated. And since that was a closed meeting, I'll just call for the vote on the resolution. All in favor? Councilor Terry? In favor. Thank you. Terry? I have a resolution moved by Councillor George, seconded by Councillor Benson. Minutes of the committee, the whole meeting held on May 27th, 2020, be adopted as circulated. And again, that was a closed meeting, so I'll call for the vote. All in favor? Councillor Terry? In favor. Thank you, Terry. Next up on the agenda is the tax collection comparative statement. Any questions or comments with respect to that statement? Okay. 
balance or neutral? I mean, you know, option here. I'm assuming that the reduction in tax collection is just due to our deferral. Yeah, I would say a uh, major portion. And that creates the cash flow issue or potential issue. Um, we have been okay as far as cash flow goes. Uh, Okay, thank you. Any other questions, comments? All right, let's move into the legislative and finance department reports to the manager. Thank you. We'll return to uh, State Treasurer's board here circulated. Any questions? That's the board here. Any questions for council? Councilor Holman? We have any properties that we're anticipating when it comes to this year? Any other questions? All right, moving into community service, community and protective services committee. Ah, uh, this is next, so I catch up. Okay, I have a resolution moved by Councilor Phillips, seconded by Councilor George, that the minutes of the community services. Minutes of Community Services Committee meeting held on May 22nd, 2020, be adopted as circulated. Councillor Phillips, any comments on that statement? I can just highlight a few items. Um, planning District Regional Workshop scheduled for June 23rd to the 20th. Not something that the mayor had briefed and administrators spoke with that day. Um, local property owners on the two minute block of Cairns have asked for local improvement, and the majority were in favor of that. So we will refer that to our 2020 capital budget. Community ambassador program is, um, is uh, was introduced, and there are currently six of them working um, with our community during the pandemic playgrounds and keeping people safe. And, Reminding them of rules that are put in place because of the pandemic. The Wapi Regional Library, the letter was sent to the information piece just um, explaining how the municipal grants work towards the regional office and local library. Melford Campground is closed now for recreational use and is being used to accommodate essential workers only at this time. That may change, but for now it is full of uh, workers. And uh, the Hip Fisker Regional Park Board appointment took a resolution coming up later in the way, way, in fact, um, with an appointment to that position. Okay, thank you. Any questions from Council? Okay, seeing none, I'll call for the vote on the resolution. All in favor? Mm -hmm. Councilor Terry? In favor. Thank you, Terry. Okay, I have a resolution moved by Councilor George, second by Councilor Phillips, that we approve the appointment of Mr. Ross Moreau and Mr. David Mons to the Kipabiska Regional Park Board for a term ending. December 31st, 2021. Any questions or comments from council? These are the two individuals that were suggested by what we need or by Kipabiska Regional Park, I should say. Um, we had Canvas Council to see if there was anybody that lived in Malford that would be interested, but we didn't find anybody, so. These appointments are being made based on that. 
So I see no comments, so I'll call for the vote. All in favor? Mm -hmm. uh, Councillor Terry? In favor. Terry, thank you. Next up, we have the municipal policing reports from April and May. Any questions or comments with respect to either one of those reports? Okay, moving on. Building permit report. You have that in front of you. Any questions or comments? Building permit report. All right, let's move into Detective Services Department report. City Manager. Thank you, Your Worship. We'll refer to Director Stewart's report as circulated here. Any questions or comments? Any questions, Council? Comments? Councillor Holmes. What are you wanting to comment on the current fire in the last year? Didn't burn the whole thing out yet. Okay. Yeah, I have to be in the air. <laughs> but by one day, I think it off where it's on the whole day. I'm not exactly sure what started at this point. Yeah, I have to say, I saw part of that, and it was a very good response by the fire department. Artists from the people who were standing around, they said he simply got into the vehicle to start it, and there was uh, a fire that started on the hood. So he got out there and got safe. And the fire department would have to dress once they got there. So very, he did a very good job of getting it out in a hurry. I have to say, created some excitement about how it. Any other questions? All right, let's move in to the Community Services Department report. City Manager. Thank you. We'll refer to uh, the report as circulated. Any questions can be referred to Director Lutz. Any questions from Council? Seeing none, we'll move into works and utilities committee. I have a resolution moved by Daryl Benson. Councillor Benson, I'm sorry. Councillor Benson. Seconded by Councillor York. That minutes of the works and utilities committee meeting held on June 4th, 2020. Be adopted as circulated. So you have that those minutes in front of you. And Councilor Terry, have you had a chance to look at those minutes? Yes, Your Worship. Do you have any anything you'd like to say with respect to those minutes? Uh, no, thank you. Okay, Councilor Benson, do you have any comments? No comments from Councilor Benson, right? Apparently, no comment. Um, I think, yes, if I'm not mistaken, we have uh, two resolutions coming up with respect to the first two items. And so that, those will be coming up shortly. Oh, I'm sorry, maybe not, maybe just one of them. Oh, that's right, I guess uh, we did deal with the bus industries already, did we? Council, help me out. That amount's currently in budget. Oh, that amount was currently in budget. That's right. So we, we just uh, recommend the approval. Okay, so moving on in the agenda. No, we're not moving on because we're going to um, approve the minutes. All in favor of that resolution? Councilor Terry? In favor. Gary, thank you.
Uh, Director Gilmore. Just, just for policy sake, all, all the council, I just want to uh, make, make sure that we all understand there's a clause in there that will prohibit anybody else uh, uh, having a call and bury in there. It's under a minimum of 10 left. You know, as per the clause 2E, uh, I think it's on 3E of, of the agreement, but just so we're, we're aware of that. Okay, so that's the resolution that's coming up. We will read that. Uh, resolution moved by Councilor George, seconded by Councilor Benson, that we authorize the mayor and city clerk to enter into an agreement with Spedisax Funeral Chapel and Crematorium Limited for the installation of a third columbarium at Mount Pleasant Cemetery in accordance with the terms and conditions outlined in the agreement. That's what Director Gilmore was just referencing. Um, the uh, resolution. Or the, yes, the uh, agreement specifically states that there will be no further co-agreements considered until that point in time. So any questions from council with respect to the resolution or agreement? All right, we'll call for the vote. All in favor? Councilor Terry? In favor. Terry, thank you. Next up on the agenda is the Works and Utilities Department report, City Manager. Thanks, Your Worship, and we'll refer to uh, the report as circulated by Director Gilmore. Any questions uh, or comments, we'll uh, refer to Director Gilmore. Okay, any questions from Council? Director Gilmore, any comments? Yes, I do, Your Worship. Uh, there's two or three things, one notable.
July 6th is the start date for that. Um,